Hey Wheeljack, I have a question. Does humidity affect how the air feels? Well Optimus, you caught me the perfect time for that. I was actually about to test out my new hypothesis. You see, my hypothesis is that the more humid it is, it'll be harder to breathe and move and etc. So I'm off to test that. I'll get back to you with the results. Um, cheers! I'd say that this is a pretty good test site, seeing as down here it is around 40% humidity. So what I'm basically going to do is just uh, collect data for the next 30 minutes. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Once we're done, I'm just going to go to the outside and I'm going to collect data there and get back to Optimus and interpret it for him. Anyway, woo! <laughs> Say that's enough data, I'm just gonna head over to the outside now and collect some stuff over there. All right, as you can see, I am now outside, evidenced by the trees behind me. So I'm just gonna collect some more uh, data and yeah, gonna report back to Optimus. Uh, humidity around out here is about 80%, just, just for the record. That's enough data, so I guess I'm just gonna spin my way back to Optimus and uh, tell him about it. All right, Optimus, so I went over the data and I uh, did a few more tests, and yeah, it would seem that humidity does in fact affect things such as uh, breathing and movement. See, a uh, higher, higher humidity, I mean, sorry, misspoke for a second, um, it leads to a more um, sluggish feeling from the air and a lower humidity makes the air feel more, uh, what's the word? Light, I guess. Um, yep, there you go. Oh, uh, thank you, Wheeljack. No problem, Optimus.